What's up, YouTube? Today we're looking at, well, in this video, I might look at something else later, a flashlight. As you can see right now, it's on my keys. Hasn't been there long, or else it'd be a lot more dinged up. If you ride a motorcycle, it'd be getting real crazy with this thing, but this is their back to basic AAA flashlight. It is not just something that runs on AAAs, it also runs on this guy. But if I were to stick a AAA in here ostensibly, I haven't tried it, nor have I seen a demonstration online because there's no video up, unlike most of their other products right now on their website, uh, it should run, just not as long. So you've got three modes. You got high, you got low, and you got blink. And you can also access those by twisting, um, one thing to note is that it does come with a, a clip that I broke trying to get out, get it off of this and flip it so I can use it on a cap. Um, comes with this as well, which I guess could be useful if you're like camping or something. Um, one thing to be aware of is that it's a, this is a little bit, I get the, you know, I hate to say it, but like you're just take the good with the bad with this one. It's good in that you can throw triple A's in it after the smaller high power battery is done. Let me see what name it is. The specs on this one are tight. Like it's a well-made piece of gear, but there we are. The 10440. Um, so that way, if you know if you're traveling or something, you take this with you. If you don't have any more of those high-powered batteries, you can use a AAA. Um, this, all right, that time it did it a lot. Of, so here's the thing: is that the amount of time it will you'll have to wait before you can tap this. Like, say I turn it off, I go to the next room, I turn it on, I'm on low. I don't know how many seconds it takes for it to reset to where okay i'm on high i turn it off i wait x amount of seconds i turn it back on and i'm on high still i i don't know i think and there's nothing on the website that will tell you that uh and i've looked so if you can find a good luck um another thing that I'm, I'm not so in love with is the second time that i've busted a clip you know, this one came with the clip up here, so you can ostensibly, ostensibly means you can if you want to, or you can, basically means you can. You can, you know, carry it in your pocket, but I'd rather put it on a visor, although this one is a little bit heavy for that. And I would recommend the AA versions. Um, I think that they're pretty useful. I'm going to carry this one on my keychain. I like that it came with this little attachment. This is light enough for you to carry on a keychain, unlike many other lights. And unlike, say, an Olight, um, this actually has, see, it's still on high. Uh, this actually has some power behind it. It also has strobe, which is really neat. Um, so say, like, if someone's like, where are you? And you're in a parking lot, you can real fast hit them with the strobe. The run times are pretty short. It's like an hour on high. I don't even know how long on low. Five hours, we'll say. And then on strobe, maybe an hour and a half. Um, this is already dinged up a little bit from just a little bit. I've had it on my keychain. My keychain does have quite a bit of stuff on it, though. Keys of various sorts. Um, you know, all kinds of stuff. Maybe, you know, the Maritac pen. This thing is also useful. Um, but yeah, the, the, one of the things that's great about this, you can detach it from your keychain. I think that adds a lot of value, so to speak, to it. Because one of the worst things about the Olight keychain was it's like, you're, you know, say that you get to the wherever and you're like, oh, okay, this is a better one. You get to the, your barn or you get to your apartment complex, the lights are out for whatever reason. You can uh, detach these, you know, these I hang on my belt. Take this off and actually use it like a flashlight. Put it in your mouth if you need to. 
I would rather put it on my hat, but right now I don't have that ability because once again, you know, that's the, the thing broke. How long will this last? I don't know. This was 30 bucks, and then the battery was six, and you can get a pack of four of those for 10 bucks off of Amazon. So, I mean, I, I do think this is worth the money. I think Lumen Top does something very similar. I don't know if it's as locked on, as keyed in as this is. Um, but, you know, it's, I guess I'm just a little bit annoyed, I should say, that there aren't like run times for the, if I put a AAA in it. Uh, on the website, it doesn't even say if the run times they give are AAA or 10440 battery um, or whatever this battery is called. So it's kind of up to you to decide, as always. But uh, I think it's worth it. It's going to get real dinged up real fast. I'll see what it looks like in maybe a month or so and, uh, you know, do another review just because... I think it's important to, sh to show how some of this stuff wears, um, not just the knurling, but other parts of it as well, because, um, you know, if you're going to use this like on a keychain or on a pack, especially on a keychain, it's going to get dinged up, but on a keychain, that's like, for me, one of the, even though I have a flashlight on me nearly all the time, there are times I don't. And if you have duplicates of something, um, redundancy eliminates failure, as I learned in the Marine Corps. And, you know, if the idea, there's nothing fancy did a great video. The idea that you're going to wade out into some pond, like say that a something goes off the road and you're now saving somebody. Now you're the first responder because go figure, uh, you know, the authorities are never around when you need them and you're wading out into this pond. Are you, are you, do you actually think you're using your cell phone as a light? Could you use this as a light? Yeah, I think you could. Um, could you, you know, I just don't, I'm not one of the people that buy into the cell phone equals flashlight. Cell phone does not equal flashlight ever. It just doesn't work that way. Uh, especially, let's say you have a, a firearm on you um, in this hypothetical scenario, I'm making up out of thin air, you have your CCW permit and um, you're gonna now, cause there's no light on it, you're gonna use this. Like, you know what I mean? Um, are, are you going to be able to use your cell phone in your firearm? I don't know. I would probably say not. So these kind of things are useful. This is only 30 bucks, 40 to get you started. If you pull one off, the, you know, pull a 10440, whatever it is, off the internet. Um, most of, of the flashlight people are already going to have, uh, you know, charging stations or charging ports. Um, I literally have five that I don't use, and I have like the main X Star one, which I would suggest. Uh, the X Star one, I'll show it. You can do anything, do four at a time, and you're good to go. So you got to make your own decisions on this stuff. But I would very, you know, I, I, there's the old saying: um, your flashlight is your first line of defense. I very much agree with that. And although not with this one, but we'll say another flashlight. Uh, you can use it as a cubiton. Um, you know, hard target yourself and make yourself uh, useful to people around you and be able to save people, be able to walk around the building in the dark. The idea that you are unable to do these things for any reason, um, if you're not like a fourth grader, I, I really just have nothing but disdain for you. Uh, <laughs> You know, you you got first and foremost, you have to take care of yourself. So do so. It's about all short for this one. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye.